like that we all cooperate to ensure that we leave here as soon as we can. It was a, a three-fold event and uh, we've already completed the first part of this event at Eket, which was a groundbreaking for the intensive care unit center belt or to be constructed at the Emmanuel Hospital in Eket. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this event is actually a part of the federal government intervention uh, in the process of the COVID-19 pandemic that has plagued the world in the past few months. And uh, some of the NNPC and some of its partners have been touring most of the states in Nigeria to also make their own contributions to see how to fight this pandemic. So today we have this team visit Akwaibom State to take their very good job here, doing their job here in Akwaibom State. I just very quickly introduce some of the persons that we have here. Most of the introductions have already been done at the first uh, venue for this event. So we may not really go through all the protocols, but meet me now to introduce the visiting team first before we introduce the receiving team. We have in our midst the Honorable Minister for State for Petroleum, His Excellency Chief Timmy Priya Silva. Please, shall we celebrate him? Thank you very much, sir. We are happy to receive you in Akwaibom State. We also have the GMD NNPC, Malam Mele Kari, also seated here. Please celebrate him. We also have... Uh, the MD NNPC also here, Dr. Mohamed Zango. Please let's celebrate him. Thank you very much. And we also have here, coming all the way to Akwaibom State, the DGM NAPIM, that is National Petroleum Investment Management Services, Mr. Bala Wunti. Please let's celebrate him. We also have the COO upstream, Mr. A. Tombo Mayer. Please let's celebrate him. Thank you for finding time to be here. We really appreciate you. Uh, please, I may not really be able to take all the introductions from all the principal teams that are here. We have NLNG, we have Chevron, we have uh, Mobile Producing Nigeria, but I'll just take the lead for each of these teams. We have uh, Mrs. Eyono Williams leading the team from NLNG. She's a general manager, external relations and sustainable development. Please, Debreta and everyone who came with her on that team. We also have leading the team for Mobile Producing Nigeria Unlimited, Mr. Udobong Ntia, Executive Director of that firm. Please let's celebrate him, thank you. And everyone that came with him from that very, very participating and supportive uh, cooperation, we celebrate you for being here today. Of course, we also have the Chief Front Project Representative, Kayo De Olawale, please let's celebrate him. Thank you. We really appreciate you. He has been here since about 12, and I thank him for his patience. Of course, we like to now um, come home to recognize yet again and welcome here the hosts, His Excellency, the Governor of Akwaibom State, Mr. Udom Gabriel Emanuel, who at this event is represented by the ever indefatigable Deputy Governor of Akwaibom State, Mr. Moses Ebo MFR. Please celebrate him. Thank you very much. We also have here in that entourage the secretary to the government of Akwaibom State, Dr. Emmanuel Ekuwem. Please celebrate him. We have honorable commissioners who have joined us here today. We have honorable commissioner for information, Sir Charles Udo. Please celebrate him. Thank you very much. We also have honorable commissioner for health, Akwaibom State, Dr. Dominic Gukbong. Thank you very much. We also have, of course, the Honorable Commissioner for Education, Professor Nse Sien, we celebrate you. Uh, we have the Permanent Secretary, Government House, Dr. Nathaniel Adiakman, seated there. Thank you very much. We have Personal Physician to His Excellency, Dr. Nia Pabio. We also have the SSA to the Governor, Multi Donor Agencies. Please celebrate him, my brother, Nana Udom. Thank you very much please that is how far we can take as far as the introductions are but let me ask that you put your hands together for yourself wherever it is that you are seated we recognize you and we thank you for being here this evening his excellency distinguished guest a lot of remarks have already been made at the other venue for this occasion 
and um, here we're simply going to have the two other parts of the event which is the presentation of medical equipment from uh, NLNG and we're also going to have the official handing of a visual commissioning so to speak of the science laboratory presented by Chevron to Aquaibum. So these are the two parts of these events. But before we go into taking all of that presentations, we're going to have brief remarks from just about two persons who shall set the ball rolling for us in this part of this event. Of course, you're already welcome to Aquaibum State. At the end of the event, the the Deputy Governor of Aquabum says shall speak to accept all the presentations that are going to be made here or better put express the sentiment of the Aquabum State Government towards the presentations that shall be made here today. So we're going to receive a brief remark by the Honorable Minister of State for Petroleum who here is also is wearing a double toga also representing the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, uh, Mr. Boss Mustafa. Please shall we clap and celebrate as we welcome the honorable minister for his remarks honorable minister sir i stand on the painstakingly established protocols in fact when it was uh, uh, establishing the protocol, I thought the names were almost uh, more than the number of people in the hall because there were so many very important people. Good evening, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. One of the things I always want to do these days is to ensure that my name is corrected wherever I, I see it spelled wrongly. And today again, it is spelled wrongly. Uh, people like to add to ye to my name, and that's not my name. My name is Timipre. There is no ye there. And my name is Silva, not Sliver. No, on the uh, on the table. On the table. No, I'm talking about on the table. Uh, as they say, there is a silver lining. To every cloud. COVID-19 came with tales of disaster globally from China to Nigeria. But it's also provided us an opportunity to intervene extensively. As the anchor said, everything that needs to be said has already been said in the other venue. But I just thought I should mention that the oil in industry being at the core of the economy of Nigeria thought it wise to also be at the core of the solution to this attack on the economy and on the nation. And that is why the NMPC has gathered all its partners to contribute to the solution of the problems occasioned by this pandemic. President Muhammad Buhari is personally interested in this program and Aquaibom was specially chosen for the intervention because the president feels that peaceful states peaceful communities especially in the Niger Delta should be compensated and encouraged. We know that Aquaibom has remained relatively peaceful. I personally know this as an in-law to this state. 
And that is why we have carefully chosen this state for this intervention. I believe that we will have to uh, deliver what we came with later on. There is time for that. But since this is just time for me to make remarks, I will end here and keep my gunpowder dry until later. Thank you, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Please can we give a better round of applause to our in-law who has given such beautiful words of commendation to our Kwa Ibom State. As I mentioned at the beginning, this event here is a product or a manifestation of the partnership galvanized by the NNPC with all the partners in the oil industry in Nigeria. Of course, we have Efron, we have NLNG, we have Mobile Producing Nigeria, we have the Albami partners. Of course, at the right time, they're all going to make their presentations. But please permit me now to bring for a very brief remark again, and perhaps the last before the presentations, the GMD NNPC Malam Mele Kairi, please celebrate him as he comes for his remarks, please. Excellency, uh, the Deputy Governor, and Excellency, the Secretary of Government of Aquaibam State, and Excellency, uh, Chief Timpres Silva, uh, my Minister, and the leader of the delegation and representative of the Secretary of Government of Federation. Uh, all are rest on other recognitions that the MC and the Honorable Minister have met. Uh, I would just like to highlight that uh, uh, we are here to support Aquaibam as a matter of responsibility. Because this industry has benefited immensely from, from Aquaibom. This country has benefited massively from Aquaibom's uh, natural resources. And the least we can do is to give back to this society and this community. And of course, as a matter of informed interest for the oil and gas industry to step forward to, to support uh, the health institutions of the Aquaibom is a matter of uh, really uh, self-interest and that's why we are here uh, to first of all to do the groundbreaking ceremony for the uh, COVID-19 or infectious disease hospital in Eket and also to hand over the hospital equipments and other uh, disposables uh, for the COVID-19 support you know procured by one of our investments which is in Nigeria LNG Limited where we own 49% of the interest the people and government of Nigeria own 15, 49% of the LNG and therefore uh, we as the, the representative of the shareholders uh, ensured that they are part of this uh, program of supporting the oil and gas industry intervention scheme and the Nigeria LNG is also here to, to hand over those equipments that they have procured on the platform of this arrangement. And thirdly also, Excellency, uh, I'm sure the MC is going to speak about it, but we're also doing a virtual handover of a science laboratory. This is also part of our responsibility from our partnership in the production sharing contract arrangement under the uh, the farm for Agbami Chevron arrangement. And that's why we are here, Excellency, to, to hand over these uh, facilities as a matter of responsibility. And I can also guarantee to the Excellency and the people of Akwaibom said I will complete the hospital in Aket definitely. We recognize the reservations expressed by His Excellency, Governor, my brother, Governor Emmanuel. Uh, and uh, we, we will follow this through because he made very clear statement that there are three CSR projects that our partners and ourselves, that we cannot exclude ourselves, that we couldn't take it forward. And I assure you that we'll follow through this also. Uh, and finally, Excellency, we're happy for the very warm reception that we have in this place. Uh, we're part of this community and we're happy to be here. Thank you very much, Excellency. Thank you very much to GMD, especially for the assurance that uh, all the partners would follow through, especially with the ICU uh, to be constructed at the Emmanuel Hospital in Eket. His Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we shall now begin the process of receiving the very many gifts that uh, NNPC and our partners came with to acquire Bomb State today. First, we're going to be receiving the presentation from NLNG 
uh, that shall be laid by Mrs. Ayona Williams, the general manager, external relations and sustainable development. Please, can we celebrate her as she comes forward for her presentation? Please clap, Beta. She's coming to. She's coming bearing gifts for Akwai Boom State. We quite appreciate them for all they are doing in the fight against the spread of the COVID-19. Thank you very much. Um, Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Akwaibom State, represented here by the Deputy Governor. Your Excellency, our Honorable Minister of State for Petroleum and the GMD of NNPC and um, the Secretary to the State Government of Akwaibom State, standing on existing protocol in the interest of time. I am very delighted to be here bringing compliments from the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Nigeria LNG, Mr. Tony Atta, and the Deputy Managing Director, Alaji Sadiq Meibonu. They send their compliments to the government and people of Akwaibom State. We are very happy to be able to collaborate with you through the NNPC Oil Industry Intervention Fund. I must state on record, as sent by my MD and Deputy MD, that we remain grateful to the Honorable Minister of State, His Excellency, and the GMD of NNPC for providing the industry with a framework that allows us to intervene in different states of the country in a very, very structured and transparent manner. For this, we are grateful. Um, Nigeria LNG has intervened in the oil industry fund to the tune of $1.25 million, and this is to be shared across many states in the Federation in the donation of medical equipment, PPEs, and palliatives in some of the states. Earlier in the week, we were in Bielsa State with NNPC, and today we are here in Akwaibom State to donate medical equipment, ICU equipment, PPE, very specific PPE, and various other items to the tune of $150,000. We believe that this intervention will go in a long way to support the people of Akwaibom State in the fight against COVID because we believe that together we are stronger. So we have in the pack uh, ventilator, patient monitors, hematology analyzers, um, various items that you require in the ICU as requested for by Aquaibom State. And we also have very specific PPE as was requested for. And we hope that this will help you as we join hands with you in this fight against the pandemic. So once again, I'd like to thank our Honorable Minister and the GMD for making this possible and making it possible for us to intervene in this way. This carton is just symbolic of the very many cartons that are already with the, with the State Ministry of Health. Thank you very much, sir. We are really grateful. Thank you. I shall now make a symbolic presentation to His Excellency, the Governor of Akwai Bumstead, they're represented by the Deputy Governor. Symbolic presentation of the medical equipment from and LNG. Thank you very much. We will not mean to carry the carton. We receive it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Please can we put our hands together yet again for N LNG for their donations, medical equipment, PPE, and several other such donations to acquire Bomb State in, to aid us in the fight against the spread of the virus. Thank you very much, His Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. We also have this final presentation from uh, the Agbami Partners, Chevron. We have Star Deepwater Petroleum. We have Farm for Oil Limited, Prime 127 Nigeria Limited, Equino Energy. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, they have constructed a science laboratory and today we're going to witness a virtual commissioning. Uh, I'm going to invite the project Rape, who shall come and take us through a virtual tour 
of that science laboratory they're about to hand over. Please join me, celebrate and welcome to the microphone Kayo Deo Laole, who is the Chevron Project Rep for the science laboratory. Please can we celebrate him as he makes his way to the microphone. He's also going to take us through the facility in about two minutes. And of course, the facility shall be virtually handed over to Aquibum State. Thank you, sir. May I, may I stand on existing protocol as I greet us all good evening. Um, Star Deepwater Petroleum Limited and the Bami Partners in their usual have donated a science laboratory, an ultra-modern science laboratory block for Ndoneyo Government College, Ndoneyo High School. Starting from the foundation in their usual fashion, a subsoil investigation was carried out. I remember very well that the recommendation was a strip, a strip foundation. But in order to ensure higher value, more durability, at the foundation stage, the construction, we did a reinforced strip pump. So essentially what I'm saying is that, let's assume that the building was supposed to last for 100 years. Now we are talking of 150 years. When we get to the superstructure, as you can see from the other slide, all the materials that were used were outsourced in order to enhance the local capacity. The supervision was top-notch in order to make sure that there's transfer of knowledge to the indigenous that helped in the construction of the project. Then we'll go on to the finishing. We'll notice from the other side of the third slide that after the completion of the roofing, the plastering, the materials that were used for the finishing stage are modern materials which comparably you can see in any modern environment so that the students don't feel disenfranchised or disadvantaged in any way. We are, we are sure of the fact that the students that graduate from this institution will be confident to compete with any of their peers in any part of the world. Aside from the building structure itself, the facility also contains equipping, fully and modern equipment for the physics, the chemistry, and the biology lab. The list of equipment and everything that was supplied there are in line with international standards and we ensured that no stone was left unturned. Aside from that, the building itself services includes a borehole. As you can see that the water is running and toilets sufficient for convenience was provided for the facility. I also want to talk a little bit about um, the design concept. We'll notice from the building itself that um, the ventilation aspect of the building is very, very generous. And the headrooms are very high in order to ensure thermal comfortability. So these are more approaches that went into the building that has made it to become the standard science laboratory block which you can compare with any of its pairs anywhere in the world. So to this extent, without much I do, or wanting to take so much more time than we have already taken. I want to say that um, the building has successfully been completed and ready to be used. Thank you very much. So, yeah? uh, so. Yes, please, he will now make um, official presentation of some of the documentations to His Excellency the Governor. Please come, come this way this way please thank you very much those are the documents representing as it were a token 
of the Science Laboratory presented by the Agbami Partners, Chevron and the rest to the government of Akwaibom State. Thank you very much. We must indeed commend this corporation for all their contributions and for giving that Science Laboratory to Akwaibom State. And as he has rightly said, or as he has said, that laboratory can compete with any of such laboratories anywhere in the world. Thank you very much. Please can we celebrate them one more time? Thank you so much. As we had promised, we are almost coming to the end of this event, but all partners have been given us what they brought for us. It is now time for us to receive a vote of thanks from the Secretary to the State Government and of course also the Chairman of Kwai Boom State COVID-19 Management Team, Dr. Emmanuel Ekowem. Please, let's have him give a vote of thanks after all the presentations have been made. Thank you. Your Excellency, the Governor of Akwaibom State, who is represented by the Deputy Governor, Uncle Mo, the representative of the Secretary of the Government of the Federation, and the Honorable Minister of uh, Petroleum Resources Minister of State, our son-in-law, uh, Chief uh, Timmy Silva, the Group Managing Director of, uh, of the NNPC, uh, the GGM of NAPIMS, the fine gentlemen, the fine ladies and gentlemen from uh, uh, NLNG, from Chevron, uh, from Pharma, and all those who have uh, contributed to making today a success story. Please, before I give, as part of my vote of thanks, may I introduce to you, Your Excellencies, our visitors, <coughs> members of the management team of the fight against COVID-19. Number one is the Commander-in-Chief of this fight. His Excellency, the Commander Emmanuel in absence, but fortunately is represented by his deputy, uh, His Excellency, Moses Ebo. Then we have the Honorable Commissioner for Health, Dr. Dominic Gukwang, who is the Chairman of the Incident Committee. Please rise up and take a bow. Then we have the Honorable Commissioner for Information, Sir Charles Udo, who is seated there, Your Excellency. Then we have the Senior Special Assistant, His Excellency, the Governor on Medical Services, Dr. Ignatius Apabio. Please take a bow. Then we have the Permanent Secretary in the Government House, Dr. Nathaniel Adiakwa, please take a bow. And the Chairman of the Hospital Management Board, Dr. David Udo Moore, and the Honorable Commissioner for Education, who from time, time, from time to time does join us. Your Excellencies, we hold meetings here 1 2 a.m., 1 2 a.m. daily. And as soon as I drop you off at the airport, we'll come back to continue with the meeting. Because His Excellency, the Governor, monitors what is happening in Akwaibom State hourly and calls to get to, to make inquiry and to get an update. So on behalf of His Excellency, the Governor, who is unavoidably absent, but he is here with us in spirit, because his deputy is here, I thank all those who have contributed. Even those who have been here, the technical team, you know, will be here since 2 o'clock, somewhere at the airport. Uh, we are really, really deeply grateful to all of you for the patience and for the support. Our friends from the NLG, thank you so much. Their truck arrived the day before yesterday and they spent the night. The truck spent the night and uh, those things were delivered into our medical warehouse. We are deeply thankful. And lastly, um, I must say, Your Excellency, Minister of State, a lot of the success stories that you hear and as you know, are true. And I like your kind was even in naked. Uh, because of the fact that the governor of the state lived ahead of, leave tomorrow today. Those pieces of equipment that you can see, Your Excellency, could not have been acquired during the lockdown. There were no international flights. Couldn't. But, but this gentleman, the governor, had really had the foresight to rebound the hospitals and acquire those pieces of equipment. And we are quite thankful to have a governor like that who sees far and who plans ahead, and who's very proactive, and who leads this fight. Now, daily, hourly, monitors them. So I thank all of you for the support, and be rest assured that Akwaibar Sipom State will put to good use all the facilities given to us. 
Thank you. Welcome. Thank you very much, Secretary to the State Government, Chairman Akwabum State COVID-19 Management Team. Please, we've come to the high point of this event, that moment where we hear the Government of Akwabum State sentiment about all the donations made today from ECET, the groundbreaking ceremony, to the donations by the NLNG, donations by Chevron and the Abami Partners, distinguished guests. Please, but because of time, we know that a lot of other contributions and comments would have been received from the other partners. But we took the persons we took to be representatives for every other person that would have spoken. I trust that what you want to say has been captured in all the briefs that have been made. The distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to now hear from His Excellency, the Governor of Aquabum State, Mr. Udom Gabriel Emanuel, represented at this event by the Deputy Governor of Aquabum State, Mr. Moses Ebo MFR. Please shall we rise as we receive him. Thank you. The Secretary Secretary to the Government of the Federation, the um, the Honourable Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, uh, who is represented here. representatives of the oil and gas I beg your pardon we have this is this is quite confused. Let me welcome all of us who are here, particularly our friends from the oil and gas sector. His Excellency, the Governor of a Bible State. is unavoidably unable to be here. But I'd like to express on his behalf, first of all, the gratitude to all of you and the love you've shown. Uh, you're coming here at this time of the day, this time of the night, is more than duty. It's born out of love for the people of our Bible state, for the people of Nigeria at this point in time. Of course, you know that His Excellency the Governor would have been very, very happy to be here to receive you in, in, the, in person. As a secretary to government, this is not your first visit to Aquaibum. You are a regular visitor here. And so we are always happy that whenever you come here, you're coming here with good news. So today again, you came here with good news and good tidings for us. His Excellency had, however, asked me to make this presentation on his behalf from the bottom of his heart about your coming and he had asked me to read this address. It is 
great pleasure and profound joy that I welcome you to our dear state on behalf of the government and people of our tribal state for, the, for this important event. I welcome in a very special way the Secretary to the Government of the Federation and Chairman of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 and all the distinguished personalities who work with him in the task force that is carrying out his assignment very creditably to the glory of this country and God. Today's event is driven by the Oil and Gas Industry Intervention Initiative on COVID-19. And I wish to acknowledge all our friends from this very important sector, even as I bring all of you the warm greetings from the government and people of our tribal state. Survival of the fit is a notion that we all subscribe to. In the last few months since the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, I think it has become obvious that there is also an element of divine grace in survival beyond the ability to stay fit. I wish therefore to thank the Almighty God for keeping us alive up to this present time. Let me also use this opportunity to commiserate the families of our compatriots across this nation who have lost relations to COVID-19. I pray that the God of all grace will continue to comfort them. In our Kwaibum state, we have added work to our faith in God in order to survive, but we do know that faith without work is dead. The State Management Committee on COVID-19 pandemic, ably led by the Secretary of the Government of our state, Dr. Emmanuel Lekouen, has in the last few months worked tirelessly to, this, to, to fight this pandemic. The committee has regularly interfaced with the Presidential Task Force and the National Center for Disease Control NCDC, whose Director General visited us recently with very generous accolades for a COVID-19 containment effort. Today, you come here to make presentations to us. Worthy of special mention is what we have done in the area of area of isolation and possible testing and tracing. In this connection, I wish to draw your attention to our 300 bed isolation center recently commissioned with the state of the art PCR laboratory in Tungba, where critical tests including COVID-19 and other infectious diseases are carried out. This facility was ready in six weeks of the announcement of the outbreak of the pandemic in Nigeria. It has been listed among the top two facilities recommended by the United Arab Emirates, where travelers from Nigeria to the country should ascertain their COVID-19 free status. Earlier today, the Oil and Gas Industry Intervention Initiative on COVID-19 has conducted groundbreaking ceremonies for a science laboratory in Donilio and an intensive care unit facility at the Emmanuel Hospital, both in a Cape local government area. Such interventions in Aquaibum will not be the first of its kind from the oil and gas sectors, and we appreciate it very much. Of course, we want to mention also the presentation that has been made here this evening on behalf of the 
oil consortium that have been here to visit us. A little over a year ago, the Exxon Mobil conducted groundbreaking ceremonies for a trauma center and another project at the Faculty of Engineering of the University of New York. There was also another groundbreaking ceremony for a skills acquisition center at Ikorakata in Pareni local government area. Laudable as these programs are, these projects, of course, are yet to take off. There is therefore the need to ensure that delays in taking groundbreaking to actual program implementation stage are addressed. Such delays should certainly not be the, the fate of today's groundbreaking exercise. And we are assured that what will be told here, but of course the project is going to be delivered on time. The reason is that this patch is of the essence with COVID-19 measures and initiatives. Finally, I want to thank all of you again for the support and generous contributions that you are making to our Pipeline State in support of our effort to contain the pandemic. I have no doubt whatsoever that working together in this manner we shall defeat the coronavirus pandemic and get back to the normal rhythm of our lives. I thank you very much for coming. It is very well spent, very fast spent. But you spend your time to come here and we are very grateful and we thank God that he will take you back safely to all your daily destinations. I thank you very much. Thank you very much, His Excellency, the Governor, represented there by the Deputy Governor. Please shall we rise as we take the national anthem. One, two, sing. Arise, O compatriot, Nigeria's call to serve our Father's land with love and strength and faith. The labor of our heroes past shall never be in vain to serve with heart and mind, one nation bound in freedom, peace and unity. Thank you very much, His Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, for being a part of this program. Thank you so very much, the NNPC, and of course all the partners who have met special donations to our Kwaibom State. We thank Chevron, we thank Mobile Producing Nigeria, we thank NLLG, we thank the Abami partners for everything that they have brought to our Kwaibom State and its people. Chevron for the donation of the science laboratory in Doneyo. Mobile Producing Nigeria for the groundbreaking and of course the promise to complete the construction of the ICU facility in Eket and of course NLG for the donation of the medical facilities. Thank you very much. May the Lord lead you home safely. <laughs>